Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So in today's short video, I'm going to show you how to use a spiral conductor package called Biomart to get all the mouse author logs uh, for the human genes. Okay, so Biomart is essentially just a, a package to access the Biomart or Ensemble uh, database. Okay, so if you uh, don't have this package installed, you need to use BioC Manager to install it. So I already have it, so let me just load the library. So uh, deploy it just for regular uh, data wrangling. And Biomart, the, pa uh, the uh, package that we're going to use to connect to the database. Okay, so first you use this use mart uh, function and uh, uh, you okay, uh, what's the database you're going to connect to, so Ensemble. So what's the data set you want to use is this uh, Homo sapiens gene uh, Ensemble data set. Now you have to actually uh, tell uh, Biomart what attributes you want to uh, get. Those are the attributes. So this ensemble gene ID, this is for human. Uh, ensemble ID, this is external gene name, it is official uh, gene symbol. And what you need uh, is the mouse, musculus, homolog, uh, ensemble gene. So this will be the mouse ensemble ID. And then this will be the uh, mouse uh, gene name gene symbol and it, then this is the uh, author log uh, type and this is essentially how uh, what's the percentage of the identity of those human versus uh, mouse uh, sequences for the gene okay so really you, you need to know what you you want so how do you know like what attributes to use so you can use function called list attributes and then, and then uh, just look at the first uh, six rows and those are the available one so what i did is that okay because we want the uh, mouse homolog so we, we just uh, filter this table by for example uh, use string r just to detect okay detect uh, filter this column by uh, mu uh, musculus and homolog for example then you then you will see okay those are all the uh, attributes that's available okay so that's how i uh, figure out um, what the attributes to use so i took uh, those from here okay and uh, so once you have the attributes and then you also need to filter okay so filter the genes that has the mouse uh, uh, homolog so this uh, this is the filter uh, argument you have to fill in so Use the get, get vm function you provide attributes which is are those the filters and then values equals true and then the database is this human database okay uh, and unique rows equals to true again you need to find what filters to use right the same thing you can use the list filters function and look at the first, the first six rows those are the names and then i can just uh, filter this column uh, by mouse musculus. So, and you see, okay, this is the filter that you can use with the M musculus homolog. So that's how I find the filter here, okay? okay. So let's run this function. And we'll take, uh, okay, a couple seconds. It will return a data data frame essentially containing all those columns here, those columns. So let's just take a look at the first six rows. And indeed you see those are the columns we need. So the ensemble gene ID is the human and the external gene name, the gene symbol. And then uh, this is the mouse ensemble ID and this is the mouse uh, gene symbol. And this is the orthologic uh, uh, type, whether it's like one to one or one to many for those genes. And this is the uh, percentage of uh, homology, essentially the ident ident uh, what per percentage of sequence of those two genes 
for human mice are identical. So for example, like in this mitochondrial genes, like 77%. Then once you have this database in hand, you can, for example, check uh, your favorite genes how awful of in mouse, okay? So for example, I, you know, EGFA and my favorite gene, you see, okay, the uh, mouse gene, mouse awful of will be the uh, EGFA here. So it's like a one-to-one awful of. Let's check another one, CTCF, okay? It also has a, Operably mouse, but if you check this gene, Leo RB1, I know this one doesn't have a mouse uh, harm lock, so it should not be present in the uh, data frame. And indeed, uh, um, we, we don't see anything. Okay, so in, uh, in this uh, today's video, I'm just show you how to use uh, Biomark uh, Bioconductor uh, package to find all the orthologs uh, of human genes in mice. I hope it's useful for you and happy learning and see you next time.